people deluded i'm back again quick one but you lot know there's no football yeah there's not much to speak about i hate doing transfers and stuff but we might as well now i've listed a lot of players that i would like us to have a look at i've actually started a spreadsheet now of actually writing them down i actually forget players it's quite poor um um really and truly and we're always going to talk about players new players this and that but I do think as we I say getting closer to the summer of things, we don't know when the season is going to be back on track. But you'd like to imagine our team or specifically the people. Obviously, Arteta is in charge of who he wants to, you know, train and play and has to have a say in these matters. But the people above him, we've been saying it for two years now, but um, maybe less so Edu, but Edu, right, well, in the base of he just landed. But more for me, Raul Sanye, Vinay, Edu, of course, and the people above him, we've got to, well, we can't see it now, but I'd hope these months and maybe with the coronavirus kind of halting things we're trying to coordinate what we're going to do in the summer better in terms of ingoings outgoings who's going on loan contracts renewed i'm not naive and you lot are not naive either we're not going to see a mass exodus we're not going to see multiple contracts renewed but we know there's a lot to be done are done on the agenda the obvious ones hopefully bakayo saka signs a new deal but the longer that one goes unsigned we've got a decision to make Aubameyang, does he go for 50, 60 odd million? Do we keep him next season? What's going to happen? There's, um, you've got Mustafi, David Luiz, who's going to sign a new deal, allegedly. But until then, it's up in air. Socrates, 2021. There's a couple other men. There's a lot of, in particular, young defenders around the, the club. We need to make a decision on them. And there's a lot of youngish sort of players. You look, you look at Chambers, Maitland, Niles. I like Chambers and all three. But Maitland, Holding... Um, Chambers, there's a couple of these players. Do you just go for it? Do you just get a 15, 20 million for them and cut your losses and make a profit sort of thing? So there's a lot of things that need to be done. You look at several other players as well. I haven't said Mesut Ozil, but, you know, that's the elephant in the room. You look at Eddie Nketiah. He's broke through into the first team. He should be in line for a new deal, but he's contracted until 2022. The same, and his is less more of an issue, but to paint the picture, that's the same length. He will sign an extension, I believe, but that's the same length of time as Lacazette, who... Pardon me, you're hearing wants to play Champions League, wants to compete for trophies, you know, Euros has been delayed a year, so if he leaves and plays Champions League football, you might get into Shumps thinking, finally, the form he's in hasn't got a snowballs, but he needs to seek a big contract, he needs to seek where he's stable, if he's happy at, at Arsenal, then cool, try and renew your team, because he's still a good player regardless of his form, if not, being 28, however old, do we move him on, get him off the wages, you look at Kalajinac, He's potentially second, third choice, not even second, third, not even second choice. You've got Sacrantini ahead of him now. Kolajinac is decent and we might use him. But do we really have, his contract right now is contracted until 2022. It's 100 bags a week. Do we really have that sort of, not that I want to speak about wages, but do we really have that money going spare for a third choice left back? Are we really that club? Or can we get some sort of money for Kolajinac? Can we get some funds for um, Lacazette? Do you see what I'm saying, people? Can we sort out the contracts that need to be sorted out immediately in terms of ingoings and outgoings? The likes of El Nene, Mkhitaryan, obviously... For Mick, even in Mkhitaryan, that's big wages off the, off the wage books. All of which, for me, if you get Mkhitaryan and, and Ozil's contracts and Alakazets and maybe Kalajinac's, you could potentially afford to give a Bamian, whether it's good business or not, that 300 bags a week. So we need to make a decision. Again, football's not as white and black as these things, people. But you'd imagine, again, if we just look at it, I'm excluding a Bamian, I don't. That's a, that's a whole other video. But players that actually I wouldn't mind if they sold, not through loss of form or anything, just is what it is, I'll take the money and run. If you could get a 15-20 for Kalajinac with his wages in mind and the fact that he's a free transfer. If Lacazette wants to go, then cool, let's get a 40-50, see what we can be can be done for that. Mkhitaryan, you're seeing him linked with Roma for 10 million. Let's just get that one off the wage books, man. It's an exp it's been an, it's been a free transfer, but it's been expensive. Let's just get that one off there, people. So what? You've got you've got Lacazette, you've got Kalajinac, you've got Mkhitaryan. Can we get a 10 15 for Mustafi with his form? Um, you know, um, can we get something for Socrates a five million or something and free up the wages? Do you see what I'm getting at, people? El Nene, let's just take a five ten and run. The Maitlands, the Holdings, the Chambers. I would like to keep all three, but we've got to really kind of stop with a couple of these project players. 
do we look to get, you know, 15, 20 for either one of them? Of course, it's not white and black as that, but through taking that, I guess you could have more of a transfer kitty. Um, of course, it's not as white and black as that. It's not as simple as that. Transfers in terms of ingoings and outgoings are very costly, very time consuming. So that's why we need to start quicker, people, because the priority should be Saka and Aubameyang's contract and also bringing in two central midfielders and a centre half for me. Again, we've got Mavropanos. He's playing well. Do we loan him out for a couple of seasons to train him up to make a profit in the hope he can make a profit or become a squad player of sorts? Is there a legit plan? Do you get what I'm saying, people? Even you look at Bellerin, who's contracted until 2022. He won't leave next season, but that's something to think about. We've got a lot of things to do here. And if all could be done there in that case, people, then we could obviously be a bit more adventurous. Again, um, I would like to sign Baidu, to be fair. If Arteta really does want a striker, let's go for the AZ Arc, my man. He's 19, 17.5 million, allegedly, people. Let's go and do that. Now, centre mids, we could be there all day. There's Mandel, Mangala, sorry, of, of, of Stuttgart. Um, I like Zachariah. There's many names we could sit here and talk about, and I've made enough videos. But um, if it was to be cost-effective, then we should go for Ibrahim Sangare. I can't say his name. His first name definitely is Ibrahim, the 22-year-old Ivory Coast international. To lose, look dead on to get relegated, people. Barcelona have been linked with him, so it's probably a myth. But Bar Toulouse looked dead on to get relegated, a club who produces a lot of young players. If Apparently, he's he, he's a, he's available for £10 million, people, €11 million Euros based on reports. Let's say it goes as high as 15 That's a good price to pay for me, who's someone that his passing can improve, but from watching Toulouse, it's improving. He can be a box-to-box. -box. He's six foot four or something. He's 22. He's a decent passer. He's a decent ball-winning midfielder. He's, he's obviously raw, and there's a lot of development to do, but there's the resale value. There's time on his side cost effective and like I said if he costs based on reports basically I don't know how valid it is but 10 million for that Baidu 17 you spent 27 million on two players um, again in terms of midfield and um, centre half sorry we don't want the Canutes the upper Meccanos and these guys I'm, there's many a centre half I want and we've made videos but if you look in terms of cost effective Gabriel, since we've been linked with him, um, I watched Leo, but since we've been linked with Gabriel months ago, I've watched him when I can a bit more on the LEI, and I think he's got enough about him to be decent. He's been linked with Everton, but that's a 30 mil. We've been linked with Ivan Indyk or Frankfurt. Again, how much is that? You'd imagine that's not the biggest of fees. So we can actually have a... De Again, I'm not, these signings obviously are not world-class players and they've got scope to improve, but I, I really hope that the board and things are sitting there and thinking about these things. And definitely with the unplanned break, this gives us a bit more time to do things strategically. I, obviously, we're all quarantined in terms of Arsenal um, and the Arsenal have released a statement how we're not returning to training. And you've heard Arteta is remotely talking to his coaching staff. So logically, we've got to be remotely speaking. And, you know, we've got to, arguably, out of all the top six teams, we've got to do the most work. I know you could sit here and talk about Spurs and whatnot um, and things like that. But we need, we, we've got to get a move on and starting early, which I hope we started months ago. Our bulk of our summer work should be done. We should be dotting I's and crossing T's already with the bulk of our business people. But I don't know any of that to be true, people. Just a word in terms of Arsenal um, people. Arsenal have been in discussions with medical staff from across the Premier League as to decide on whether or not their players should return to the training ground this week. You've seen reports recently just come out literally a couple of minutes ago that we're not. Um, as you lot know, Arteta tested positive. He's on the mend. Um, our players are self-isolating. Gary O'Driscoll is more or less in charge of this and has been coordinating with other people within his field. Um, to be fair, when you're seeing Nando's and even McDonald's closing now, potentially wouldn't make sense for a football club, even a training ground to open. Of course, they wouldn't open with all staff, but if there's a coaching staff, if the training ground's open, it's not just the players. You've got to bring players. You've got to have... Potentially agents can go there, coaches as well. You've got groundsmen, you've got uh, canteen ladies, you've got chefs. You've Obviously, if you're cooking and stuff, you've got to be taking delivery. So you've got that aspect. It's just too much of a risk. And wow, I'm sure the players are sick of their old million dollar houses now. Um, they probably discovered rooms they didn't even know were in the room when they bought the houses. But um, say prevention is better than cure. And especially you're seeing parts closed now. And you're kind of seeing a blase attitude with some members of British society still going to park, still flocking with everybody. You know, clubs have to take that risk, have to take precaution, man. And at the end of the day, it's 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 not worth it's 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 not worth it. It's too big of a risk, people, really and truly. 
on that note though there's not really much more to speak about i just hope we're doing the business for me the priority should be more so the experienced players like no disrespect to mkhitaryan but i'm not trying to um, scapegoat him but mkhitaryan if arteta doesn't want to use him regardless a decision has to be made because that's freeing up funds kolajinac make a decision freeing up funds lacazette freeing up wages and funds meze ozo a delicate one does arteta want to use him for another year or do you want to let him try a new adventure we've clearly tried to move him on and nobody's willing to take on both the contract and give him them wages and things like that. Um, it wouldn't make sense loaning him out for a, his last year unless they're going to pay all of his wages. They might as well just use him. A decision has to be made on that, people, um, really. And obviously, priorities for me is to badly keep a Bamian, but if not, we've got to bite a bullet. Um, I'd give Eddie and Ketia a new deal because he deserves it. He's progressed into the team. We need to protect our resale value. Do I need to tell you lot why Bakayo Saka signing a new deal for him is that? And within the next 18 months, we need to sort out the players who are contracted until 2022 and beyond. Like Martinelli's not contracted until then, but I'd, you're hearing Gwendozi's in talks to sign a new deal. I'd imagine... I'd, 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 and we've got Marie to come as well off topic for centre half. I didn't mention him. Um, I'd imagine the Emil Smith Rose is potentially Nelson's, definitely Martinelli, which I forgot about just now. These players are going to be signing new deals in the near too distant future. Maybe even Torreira if he gets back in the side. We need because Arsenal. That's one thing we need to do: keep renewing deals. Um, I, again, looking back, but I'm pretty sure I did say when we got a Birmingham, why wasn't there an option of another year similar to what United did with Pogba? He's now technically they can keep him until 2022. Was it 2023? All I know is that he's got a. I think it's 2022. I don't know, but either way, they've got a year a year to to bring out in his contract. If we had another year extension in the Bamian still, we'd potentially be laughing because it's another 18 months to try and get that deal sorted, people. But it is what it is. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I've got a team meeting. I need to sign in. I've got nine minutes. People deluded. Please comment, like, subscribe, vote for me in the Football Content Awards. We've got until March the 31st. It's actually been delayed until November now due to the coronavirus. Don't know if it will still be at Spurs' stadium, but people, I'm out.